I wanted to bring back the Chic on a Budget series. I would wear this at home. <laughs> Trust your intuition. This I love. Am I making you dizzy walking back and forth? Mm, I don't know. Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to bring back the Chic on a Budget series, but I wanted to make it a little more valuable for you guys. This time we're gonna be doing it online and I'm gonna show you the process that I go through to find pieces that I love, pieces that are like gems among you know all the endless options. Then I'm gonna order them and then we're gonna do a haul and see how it fits and see if my tactics of shopping online works. So you can actually hopefully find a tip or two that might make it easier for you to shop. The whole video will be shot from my floor because this is where I'm hiding. Let's pretend that this bed is clean. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to check H&M, I'm going to check Revolve. So online shopping is a little bit tricky. There's definitely a lot of cons to it just because of the uncertainty because you can't actually put the outfit on. The pros is you have all these amazing sources to shop from. The picking and the variety is endless. So that can be kind of a pro and a con. <laughs> so today I'm looking for some basics that are a little more elevated. Maybe some colors that I'm still missing in my closet. Things that if I'll see it, I'll just know which item I can connect it to in my closet. Something that I I do is that I shop my closet like at least every two weeks just go through the clothing being like oh I forgot about this piece I forgot about that piece what I find is that I usually like keep certain items aside being like I'll wear this I'll wear this and then I never wear it so if you don't wear something that means that it's just energetically is not there trust your intuition so let's start with the first website we're gonna go to H&M so H&M is really good when it comes to obviously being super on trend but also having a great variety and they have collaborations uh, designer stuff that I love I do love their collaboration let's check the collaboration Simone Rocha I actually have a few pieces from this collection these are so fun and everything is out of stock because it's amazing okay let's go to premium selection so they do have some unique pieces and for me I do like to find unique pieces usually I find them in vintage shopping but there's also quite a bit that you can find of those on on H&M or on Revolve if you know what you're looking for. So you have these really cool wide suede pants. These are pretty cool. I mean, I would wear this at home. <laughs> But I don't need it. I don't need no more jackets. So a lot of their higher quality is actually basics and neutrals. Like wool blend dress pants. All my favorite trousers that I wear over and over again are actually all from H&M. They have a really, really good understanding of the fit. I'm really, really into vest right now. This I love. Oh, the buttons are the same buttons that I have on my cardigan right now. This is also from H&M, so now I know how it looks. Although this is trending right now, this is a piece that I can totally wear. Even if down the line, like maybe the buttons would be a little much for me, that's something that you can easily change if you want to. I see that it's oversized. The colors are great. It's white and beige, something that really easy to incorporate. So when I look at an item like this, I'm thinking, okay, I can wear it with white pants and white t-shirt. She's wearing here on top of loungewear. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with black pants. You can do a long sleeve crew neck with beiges, with earth tones, which is very trending now. So this is a very versatile piece. I'm going to add this to the basket. It's also the price is right. It's $69.99 Canadian, which is great. One thing I always, always do is I look at the size. Okay, so the model is 5'9", and she's wearing a size medium. It's oversized, she's a bit taller than me, so for me, I think that a small would work best because I'm still getting that little bit of an oversized look. Another feature that you can use when you look at an item is they have suggestion on how to style something. If you look at it, these are all basics that, I mean, a lot of us have in the closet, uh, so they make it very easy to see how you can incorporate a piece like that into your closet. I don't necessarily look to buy a lot of stuff. I'm looking at things that I know I will use and I know that will serve me. So that was a good piece. Yay, you see, we're doing well. So I added that to my bag. Let's continue. So, I mean, I have dresses like this. This is actually a sweatshirt dress, which is even more comfortable, but this is something that you can 
layer and wear in so many different ways if you put like a denim on top of it or like the vest that we just got there is quite a bit of ways to make this work so just something to keep in mind if you are in the market for basics i'm always thinking about ways to style it Okay, I found another goodie. So yellow is definitely my color for the season. I found this knit sweater in light yellow and it looks like the quality is there. Let's check. So they actually have, based on reviews, you can also see how it runs. So if it's true to size or runs large. So this is towards kind of runs large. Polyester content is recycled. That's great. Actually, let's see reviews. True to size, run small. Okay, so I think that I'm then going to take an extra small because I feel like it is a relaxed fit. It means that it will be naturally a little bit more oversized. What happened to my... Oh, wow. Okay, so now we have two items in our bin. I'm just going to quickly scroll through. There's really nothing else that I'll find that I need. I went on the page that's called Spring Edit and it has all the items that will be useful. I find that a lot of the Spring Edit also applies to summer. And by the way, to all my pregnant ladies or expecting mothers, H&M was my go-to when I was pregnant. They have a lot of options for A-line. I never bought from pregnancy companies. I really just either went up in size, but I was really focusing on getting like a balloon silhouette, A-line, something that will complement my belly and can grow with me a lot of the stuff that i got i actually still use okay these are so cute the colors are beautiful but i already have similar ones so i won't get it oh this is gorgeous this is a pretty dress that you can wear for like an event i think it's really really elegant for 49.99 pretty good i want to try it out i'm gonna get this color let's see how it runs true to size runs a bit big so model is 5.9 wears a size small so i'm gonna do an extra small and Add. This is a good skirt. Now, I don't necessarily agree with how it looks here, but what I do see is that it will be a really great layering piece. So if you have a really oversized sweater that will go to here, or even a vest that you can wear and you just want volume and something to peep, I think that this is a perfect look at the price, $29.99. I'm actually gonna get it, and I'm gonna show you how great and easy it is to style it. So this model is 5'11". She wears a size 6. I want it to be high up and then really just to have this pop. So I got these three items. This vest, this knit sweater, this A-line dress, and this skirt. Just wanted to mention I am a member and I got a reward. So minus $30. So it's actually the total is $161. Yes! Love these perks. Okay, I fixed my hair and now we are on Revolve. For Revolve, they have so many cool, cool things. I like to go to Hot List because what they have is things that you see on Instagram a lot, but there's nothing here that I see. So let's go to Just In and see what's new. Do you see how I created a little... Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so Revolve has amazing variety of products from super basics to the most coveted jeans, but also like dress ups. This is fun. And they also have a lot of really great like editorial stuff where they put lists together of like the most essentials, the most popular and stuff like that. Like there's a really cute activewear, but God, I do not need any more activewear because we have activewear coming. Another thing that I love about going on Revolve is they always have really fun, cute stuff. So this sandal is really nice for summertime. This will be great with with anything really so this is actually also a really cool feature and that's what i meant there's a lot of websites that are so advanced so they have let's say my shoe size in converse i'm a seven and a half so they give you an indication of what you would be on this one so seven and a half but we don't have seven and a half so i'll probably go for an eight 
So, a few things that I stay away from. Are you ready? Colors that I know they don't complement me. Just understanding which color works for you will be everything for your uh, wardrobe. And I'm not even talking about the actual different colors, even like the range of colors within a color. So even understanding, you know, the range of colors that work for you will do magical things to the way you shop online and offline to be honest another thing that i stay away from as you can see cutouts are very much are in trend but realistically where am i going i ain't going nowhere wearing this so just understanding what looks good on your body which trends will translate well into your lifestyle like if i wear something like this out something's gonna show up a nipple a boob something's just gonna say hi and i'm just not at that point in my life being aware of what you're comfortable wearing and what you won't be comfortable wearing is extremely important you can filter even with colors if you're looking for something super specific filtering with colors is an amazing thing also with sizes to make sure that you don't see something that you love and then you go in and they don't have your size very amazing and easy thing to do available on most websites oh this is fun sold out <laughs> You see? And then something else that I think is very helpful when you shop is not necessarily take so much time to scrutinize everything that you like, like add it to the cart and then just do an audit on the cart. It's very much of being aware enough of which trends will make it. Like in my opinion, the cut cutout trend will make it. So I wouldn't invest too much in a piece like that this is a piece that it's already out like i already don't see people wear so you know just being aware of is it something that will really stand the test of time or is it just having like a hot minute let me show you some stuff that i love but i know won't work for me this jumpsuit love the color love the shape but what i don't love is that it's so short so it comes to kind of the calf area when it's this length it never works for me it has to be either ankle length or it has to be all the way i think that a lot of these lessons are honestly just like trial and error but really is more about trying on things in my closet seeing how they sit seeing how it works see like what i don't like and it's the small details all the time you know like to me i feel like you look super chic when it's the small details that are done right and fit is definitely one of them the clothes can't be wearing you you have to be wearing the clothes okay this is a great example so this levi's jumpsuit love the color green looks good on me it's a definitely much more relaxed fit but you see where it ends it lands right here but i also have the possibility to roll it up in case i need to she's 5'9 and she's wearing small and it's kind of baggy-ish on her i mean these are my measurements and this is something that it will be very helpful for you to know you just take a measuring tape and check your bust your uh, waist and your hips so she's wearing small and she's 5'9 i'm gonna take a small as well now i'm gonna take an extra small because i feel like it can be a little bit more fitted okay i landed on these two a dress that i love i love this fit i really like that it's cinch at the waist i love this 80s kind of uh, fit to it so you see there's the shoulder pads that give you like a nice frame and then this kind of like curtain thing and it's a mini so what the curtain thing does when it's a mini is like makes your legs look super long that's it it's just this and the jumpsuit i feel like i did pretty well and i'm checking out okay wow wow so i got my shipment of what i ordered i wanted to wait to do like a proper unboxing and all that jazz but you know what <laughs> your girl don't have enough patience so i actually didn't have a chance to try all of them out so we will do it together buying something is one thing but putting it together in an outfit is another thing am i making you dizzy walking back and forth these are all my items and now let's try it on and see what worked what didn't what's gonna go back and what's gonna live with me here okay first things first this h&m vest i spent a lot of my shopping time actually inspecting it i mean it has a chanel vibe with the tweed and i do like the colors the buttons i wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite but it is pretty cool and trendy for right now 
but what's great about it is that the fit is timeless the tweed and colors are timeless and if i want to change the buttons that's actually a super easy change to make i actually wore this vest so like i'm not even gonna pretend like this is my first time trying it on the vests are all the rage right now and i love also wearing it with our new leia active wear which i'm washing right now because i sweated it out on it i would pair it with anything white or gray or brown or taupe or black so i wanted to show you another example just with jeans it can kind of be a crop top it can be also just like a regular t-shirt and honestly pair it with white sneakers and just like a colored bag and this is it it has a really cute cheek pretty like laid back and cool vibe to it also if you have an old black outfit to put this on top we'll just kind of jazz it up and give it a little bit of a vibe to it again because of this really nice tweed and the fabric is really good and thick it definitely doesn't look or feel cheap so love it she's a keeper next one is this yellow sweater uh first of all i feel like a chick pee no a chick like a quack quack chick <laughs> the color is so cute which i love for the season in general yellow is something that i absolutely adore it gives me positivity it gives me light makes me feel like there's sunshine out there i even bought a yellow chanel bag because i just need more yellow in my life especially right now this is an extra small so it obviously has an oversized vibe to it and honestly this with just jeans and sneakers or sandals or flip-flops or sliders or whatever it is that you want will really create a cute little casual look i think this is also a yellow that is a great basic to have in case you want to move away a little bit from like a white tee and like blue jeans this just brings a little bit more personality to it i personally i uh, love this because of the high crew neck i don't like when they're like too low i feel like it's always an awkward kind of look so i really really like this one definitely a keeper okay next up is this skirt it was a very very good price but what i like about it is the fact that it has this poofy effect but it's still light so the fabric is dirty enough to hold the shape because i love to mix like let's say combat boots with freely like girly skirt and then like a big sweater on top i would cover this area because i don't love it and the reason why i got it is really just to have the bottom aspect of it and then if you put it with combat boots you get this like princess warrior look happening let me show you obsessed with these combat boots so this is definitely a valeria look a poofy skirt and big chunky combat boots so love 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 this skirt i think that it's a basic enough to work at any season to work with any sweater or anything that i have in my wardrobe whenever i just need a little bit of that girly vibe definitely definitely keeping it thank you the next item from h&m that i feel like this was kind of my wild card and i didn't know how that's gonna play out for me like the idea was there but i feel like execution wise it's not happening so i get the vibe but i i, I don't it's kind it looks cheap i was kind of thinking about maybe pairing it with like yellow heels or white heels and you know just be that like modest chic type of look happening but again the fabric is not it for me the shape is not it for me the color is really pretty is it my color mm, i don't know so it's a no for me this is not it let's move to my revolve pieces the first item from revolve that i got is this levi's jumpsuit i love i love it i love everything about it first of all it's extremely comfortable it feels really nice i'm pretty sure it's like 100 cotton also the shape is good like the fabric is not heavy enough so i feel like i can wear it spring fall winter putting it with boots will work another way to wear it is literally with just like slides for the summer spring transitional whatever you want to call it or obviously with white sneakers will work really really well as well i like that the buttons are the same color so nothing like sticks out the green it's army green but it's not like 
army green. It has a little bit of a more feminine vibe to it. And I feel like it brings out my eyes. I'm a big fan of jumpsuits. They're always kind of a no-brainer whenever you don't know what to wear. And I would say that I have them now in like blue, pink, green now. So I'm completing my jumpsuit collection. And the fabric is like denim-ish, by the way, in case you were wondering. I am definitely leaving it. I actually already wore it, so she's a keeper as well. Then we have this really, really pretty dress from L'Academy from Revolve. I really like this. So first of all, it has a little bit of like an 80 homage going on because there's like a little shoulder, poofy sleeves. Like this is a girl's best friend type of cut and I'll tell you why. First of all, there's patterns. There's a little bit of a gathering here. So it means that it gives you a little bit more space to work with. It's not too crazy because it has like the black and white in it, but it's there. So I feel like it really complements the body. It has a little belt and because it's made with the same fabric and pattern, it doesn't like stick out. So it very much gives like the body a really pretty, beautiful silhouette. In the back, it's a little bit tighter and gathers. It sits really, really well. Like I would wear this for a night out, for a day, night you can wear it with combat boots to make it like cool you can wear it with strappy sandal and a little clutch and again because of the colors are not too in your face you can play around with different makeup if you want to focus maybe on the lip or in the eye area you can put uh, colorful accessories because although it's pattern it's a pretty versatile pattern so this is definitely a keeper for me yeah yeah we did really good. There's only one dress that I'm gonna return from H&M. Otherwise, everything else I'm very, very happy with. I really wanna know what you guys think, which items you absolutely loved, which ones you feel I need to say bye-bye to. Let me know. Okay, I'm gonna go eat pasta. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time.